What's up guys? This is going to be like a little update vlog since I quit my job. What am I doing? Where am I living? All that stuff. So right now I'm in my parents' room. But I'm going to show you where some of my stuff is. This is not my room, but some of my stuff is in here. So this is the room I had. My parents moved to this house when I was in college, so I've never really like lived here. Only like on breaks and stuff, but... Um, these are the last few boxes that I have to unpack. These are all shoe boxes. Um, yeah, you know what's crazy? I had, um, when I first moved to Kansas City, I only had, like, five boxes. But, you know, not, anyways. So, this is my closet. Um, yeah. And I think I'm going to put either the shoe boxes right here or right there. I'm not sure yet. Back here are some, you can't really see it, but there's some bins of clothes over there. Those are my sandals. Um, some summer clothes. But maybe later on today I will be going through. But yeah, this is the room that I had. Um, I didn't want to, uh oh, I didn't want to move back into that room because I kind of wanted like to feel like I have my own space in my parents' house, if that makes sense. So, um, that's why I didn't go back into that room. And also because I really liked the bed that I have, that I got in my, that I had in my apartment, so I didn't want to like give up that bed all right so here in this room this is like um i don't know what you would call it this is like a sitting room or like a little i don't know but we put my couch from my house down here and these little poofs are from my house as well and then um if you follow me on Instagram, all of my pictures that I take are taken in that mirror. So this is where this mirror is. I don't know if I like it right there because the lighting is not that good in here. But I don't know where else it could go. Um, but yeah. So that's where my living room furniture is. Um, I didn't want to have to put anything in storage. So we figured out a way to make everything work in this house. So this is my room that we're going into now. It's kind of small. Not kind of, it is small, but it's okay. So, here is my room. It's a little dusty right now. But, um, this is the bed that was in my apartment. And then, this is the TV and the TV, um, stand that was in my living room. Yeah. And then, this bookshelf was in my closet. It did have shoes on all the rows, but I didn't have anywhere in here to put my makeup in like an easily accessible area. So I, I don't know, where, where did I put the shoes that were right there? I think I moved them upstairs or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, here's all my makeup. So I like this setup. And then in the closet, those are my jeans and some stuff that I need to hang up and then some more stuff that's hung up but I think that I'm going to take this stuff and move it upstairs because I just feel like this is kind of cluttered or I need to go through here and figure out what's for the spring slash summer and what's for the winter so that I can I just don't like how tight that feels and then those are like undergarments and then more shoes hanging up right here and this was also in my closet and this was in my closet as well and all these clothes are in my closet. So, in my old apartment. And then, here's my dresser. I need to, I don't know if I like this. These are my mom's. so don't belong there. But, um. This thing was in my bathroom. And these were in my bathroom as well. But, I don't have a big bathroom space right now. And these were still all on my dresser, but this big thing was um, sitting on those white poofs that I had in the living room. So, but I don't want to put them there now, so there's that. Um, and then this was all on my desk before, I mean on my dresser before. 
And so yeah, that's that. That's my little setup. It's kind of small, but it's crazy because I feel like way more at home and way more comfortable in this room than I did um, in my entire apartment. So there's that. Um, I'm texting my mom, but um, I just wanted to kind of do an update. I'm not doing anything today because it's raining, but tomorrow, I think this might be like a two day vlog. Um, cause I'm not going to be doing much in the house today. Um, I don't really do much. Um, I'm trying to spend as least amount of money as possible, but, um, yeah, it might be a two day vlog cause tomorrow, if it's still not raining, I do have some errands to run because this weekend I'm going to DC for, um, what's it called? Broccoli City Fest. So. I kind of need like a little backup outfit in case it rains or I also just want to go to the mall but I also need to do some little running around. Well, I just wanted to do like an updated vlog because I haven't like told anybody I haven't like said what I'm doing now but I'm not really doing anything I'm just chilling looking for a job I'm not like super hard pressed right now um but I'll talk about that a little bit more later but um and then, oh, in my bathroom, this is all the stuff that was in my bathroom. It's upstairs. I'm trying to find a room that has good lighting. Because it's kind of trash lighting in this house. Sorry, Mom. No offense. I'm appreciative for you letting me stay here. Okay. I think this room has better lighting. This is like a little guest room. But, um... First, just let me say, the two videos that I posted regarding me um, quitting my job are like some of my quickest viewed videos. What is that? So thanks for that love. And then when I posted the videos, I got a lot of like people reaching out to me on um, Instagram, like DMing me and just like saying thank you for being transparent and, da -da -da. and it's just like, it's very easy for me to speak my truth because it's my truth. You know, I'm not lying. I'm not trying to hide. I'm not ashamed. Like, it's easy to tell the truth, you know? Like, I hated my job, so I figured out a way to get out of it. Um, what else did I want to say? Also, I'm not saying, like, I have a problem with working a 9 to 5. I don't mind that because my 9 to 5 is how I fund how I have everything for my YouTube. That's not what I'm saying. I didn't like the nine to five, nine to five that I had. So I'm not opposed to not working a job or not working a nine to five. I know that I have to work a job, but I want to be able to choose my job wisely. And that's why I'm not in a rush because I am so afraid of being in a position I was in. Like when I was looking for jobs, when I was thinking about just staying in Kansas City and quitting my job, I found a job that was, like, pretty cool. But I was so, like, I repeated, I kept saying to my mom, like, what if I hate it? What if I don't like it? Like, I was so, like, I'm so scared of being in that same position because it's just not a good feeling to be in a position like that. So, um, yeah, this is not me saying, like, if a nine to five, you know, just be creative. No, like... You need money to be creative, so I couldn't work that 9 to 5 because I was so drained. I had no creativity left in me to come put it into my YouTube channel. So, that's why I quit my job. So, this is not me saying, like, girl, leave your job and just figure it out later. No, like, I legitly want you to figure it out. Um... What else did I want to say? I think people have the misconception that because I was crying in that last video that I was like sad or anything like I'm not sad. Like this is the happiest I have been in the longest. Like uh, sad? No. I am not sad at all. Like I knew like at that job I knew how much money I was going to get every two weeks. Right now I don't know where the next piece of change is going to come from but I feel so fine, like I'm fine, you know, so I think people thought like I was like upset or worried or I'm not worried at all, at all, 
because like I said like I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do like I'm not trying to rush the process you know I'm just trying to you know take in everything for what it is so I'm not sad I'm actually perfectly fine like so if people have been like try I feel like some people have been trying to like comfort me I'm, I'm fine I promise I wasn't fine before but you guys didn't know that so I'm good I promise I did just want to make that clear I'm not sad I'm good very 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 good um how am I a lot of people have been asking me how I like being at home I love it um I got here since that vlog that I last posted three when I post this it'll I probably post this on Wednesday today is Monday so three it's been three weeks so since then I my mom and stepdad came um, I could have vlogged doing that, but it was just a lot going on, like trying to pack up my house, trying to pick up the truck, pack up the truck. It was just a lot going on, and me trying to vlog it would have been a bit much. But since the last videos that I posted, I have left Kansas City, packed up my apartment, um, moved into my parents' house. Um, so all that happened, I posted those videos like Wednesday-ish of that week. My mom got there that night, and then my stepdad got there on that Friday, and then we left on Saturday. So the next, that Sunday, when I my first day back in North Carolina, I saw basically my closest friends that I have in Charlotte. So, um, and that felt like amazing. Like I had not felt that, like my spirit was so, like I told y'all before, my spirit was like so empty. So it just was really good to be able to be around um all my friends like it was like exactly what I needed and then um that next day that Monday my mom came home from work and we were just chilling watching tv and I was just so happy to just be able to watch tv with my mom because I had been like by myself watching all the tv shows by myself and I didn't realize like how alone I actually felt until I was around people so I feel, I love being home I love it um before I came, me and my mom, like, talked about some things, you know, set some rules for each other. Everything's going pretty okay. Um, she currently has me on this, like, fitness plan. Um, because she is, I think she's about to go to school to become a health coach. So, she has me on this, she has me a diet plan, a workout plan, all that stuff. And so, last week was the first week, and I just got on the scale this morning. And I was, I lost three pounds in a week, so I think that's pretty cool, so... She suggested that I up my cardio and change a few things about my diet to help me drop more weight faster. Because I lost three pounds literally off the strength of me eating because I didn't do a whole, whole lot of exercise. I did a little bit more exercise. But if you guys would like to see me, you know, do that, if you guys would like a video as I do that, let me know. I can track that. But, um, yeah, I love being at home. I do not miss Kansas City. I do miss some of the restaurants, but I don't miss being there. I don't miss feeling alone. I don't miss my job. Um, I love being at home. I already said that. What else? But yeah, I think that I don't. I'm not doing too much today. Like I'm, I'll probably be like looking like this all day. Cause I mean, I don't have nothing. I don't really have a lot to do, and it's raining outside. So hopefully tomorrow I will have something else for you guys because right now this is what I do. Just be chilling around the house, cleaning up, you know. I really try not to leave the house because I don't want to spend like a whole lot of money. So yeah, this is what I do for the most part. Um, I might, Maybe my parents will be on. I don't know. They never... My mom has been on camera before, but I don't know about my stepdad, but they'll both be home later. So I can talk to them later. I can show that you guys them later. But I uh, think I'm about to go eat my breakfast. And then maybe unpack those shoes. Chat, I don't know. But I mean, what else I got to do today? So I will see you guys later.